Question order. Question number two. Jamie Lee Ross. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, what are the main priorities for the government's economic program in 2015? Oh, Mr Speaker, Bill English. Uh, we will pursue four priorities which we believe will underpin a stronger economy and a stronger community. They are responsibly managing the government's finances, building a more productive and competitive economy, delivering better public services and continuing to support the rebuilding of Christchurch. The government's next steps consistent with these priorities will be outlined in the budget which will be delivered on the 21st of May, uh, building on the current momentum. It's important uh, that we focus on achieving not just solid economic growth but sustainable economic growth year after year. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jamie Lee Ross. Under the government's economic plan, how is New Zealand performing compared to other developed economies? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, it's, we performed reasonably well due to the hard work and positive attitude of New Zealanders over recent years. Uh, we are, our economy is growing, employment is increasing, wages are rising faster than the cost of living. New Zealanders are benefiting from a period of stable, lower interest rates. We're growing new industries such as ICT and high-tech manufacturing and strengthening existing industries successfully, such as the food industry, tourism and international education. Now, this is a much more positive picture than most other developed economies, and New Zealanders should be proud of what they've achieved. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jamie Lee Ross. Since the Treasury issued its half-year update in December, what updated data has been issued about economic growth, commodity prices and inflation? Honourable Bill English. Oh, well, Mr Speaker, the progress of the New Zealand economy is against a background where there are significant fluctuations uh, in data across the global economy. Uh, since uh, the half-year update before Christmas, uh, in which forecasts further strong growth for New Zealand. We've seen oil prices fall by 40 per cent, taking retail petrol prices to their lowest level in four years. Annual inflation dropped to less than 1 per cent, that is 0.8, and could be headed lower. Uh, despite an upward correction in the past week, petrol prices remain low, suggesting inflation can stay subdued. We've also seen a turnaround in the uh, persistent drop in dairy prices, uh, which is consistent with the forecasts for, at least the government's forecast, uh, for the dairy sector. Low inflation combined with low interest rates and weak global commodity prices is generally good for households, uh, but they will make it a bit harder for the government to balance its budget. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Jamie Lee Ross. What examples does he have of particular sectors of the economy contributing to growth, more jobs and higher incomes? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, the data would indicate that uh, the manufacturing sector continues to make an important contribution to more jobs and higher incomes. The performance of manufacturing index is up since November by 2.1. Uh, a number above, uh, currently to 57.7, a number above 50 means the sector is growing. Uh, so despite uh, claims of a manufacturing crisis, manufacturing has now been in solid expansion for 27 consecutive months, uh, which is delivering some of the 80,000 new jobs in the last year and rising real incomes. Question number three, Matidia Turo. Yeah, okay, Mr. Speaker, Tina.